The Army Air Defense has developed systems and weapons that are completely independent on signal, wave, and electronic interference, so we do not worry at all that even the most powerful electronic interference will be used by the enemy in this space, General Alhami told the FARS news agency. When the threats against our country are mainly air threats, the type of defense should be drawn in proportion to this threat and should be given priority. Therefore, air defense remains the country's top priority," he added. He reiterated that there is no concern about the implementation of electronic warfare operations and electronic disruption by the enemies. Our critical centers, such as nuclear and industrial centers and factories, are one of the main targets of the enemy. Therefore, if the enemy wants to attack us briefly, it will seek to damage us economically, such as targeting the centers, that replacing or relaunching them by Iran require a lot of money and time," he added. He said that in the Air Defense Force, the drones are considered as tools, adding, we reduce the country's costs with interceptor drones. Therefore, we also have to have a proper plan to defend these centers. The best opportunity to evaluate our defense plans is through drills. One of our main exercises in the drills is to practice defending critical centers, which we have done well over the past few years. In relevant remarks on Wednesday, Iranian Army Commander Major General Said Abdulrahim Massavi declared the preparedness of the country's air defense force to confront any threat by the enemies. Today, the Army Air Defense Force, equipped with the advanced and sophisticated systems, is ready to face any threat under the auspices of interaction and cooperation with other sectors of the armed forces," General Massavi said in a message on Wednesday on the occasion of National Day of Air Defense. Today, Iran's Army Air Defense is equipped with the world's most modern radar, missile and drone systems, which are the products of Iranian experts and elites cooperating with the Army Force of the Islamic Republic of Iran," he added. Under the auspices of interaction, cooperation, and synergy with other sectors of the armed force especially the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps IRGC, the Army Air Defense is ready to confront any threat orchestrated against the Islamic Republic of Iran within the framework of an integrated air defense network system. The Iranian Army's Air Defense Force on Wednesday unveiled a new homemade 3D phased array radar and a weapons command and control center. The first project unveiled on Wednesday in the presence of the Army's Air Defense Force Commander Brigadier General Alariza Sabahi Fard was ALBERS, a 3D phased array radar developed with the aim of intercepting and detecting long range stealth flying targets with low radar cross section. The maximum radar range of the system is 450 kilometers, and it is able to identify targets at low altitudes. Albers radar is also able to track 300 targets simultaneously. The next project unveiled on Wednesday was Borham, a low-range and low-altitude weapons command and control center is the last command level in the pinpointing defense of the command and control network of the air defense. After receiving and analyzing data from all sources, Borhan transmits them to the highest levels of command to make decisions in the shortest possible time, to communicate the necessary decisions, to carry out the mission, and destroy the target. The system, with its effective detection and processing capability, enables the forces to deceive and destroy the air targets. It also sends the information to missile systems by combining data received from electro-optical systems with data received from radar systems. 
In addition to the ability to detect the target in passive mode, Borhan also enjoys the capability to issue commands to confront the enemy's electronic jamming. Addressing the ceremony to unveil the new projects, General Sabahi Far described defense as the front line of confrontation against the enemy and said, air defense has developed a power that it does not need other countries. We can monitor all enemy bases and moves with the high power we have in air defense, he said. We can destroy targets from a distance of more than 200 kilometers. General Sabahi Fard said that six projects were unveiled on Wednesday, adding that four of them can be revealed to the media. He also added that the indigenized Morakeb radar has started its mission on Wednesday, noting that Iran ranks first in the region in the field of air defense. Iran's air defense force on Tuesday successfully test-fired the country's homemade Mursid-16 missile system with the capability to intercept cruise missiles in the central desert of the country.